Okay, I've reviewed a few gimbals before, but this one takes the cake, man. It is the tiniest of tiniest of gimbals. This is the Zhu Win Smooth Q2. Yes, Zhu Win, like Zhu Win. That's the name of it. I finally figured it out. I, I think that's right, though. I really do think Zhu Win is right. Um, but I kind of like saying Zhu. Let's do it. Okay, in this video, it's not gonna be a tutorial or a comparison video. I'm just gonna tell you what I really like about this thing. But I'd be remiss if I didn't do just even a short comparison of size to the DJI Mobile 3. So this is the DJI Mobile 3. This is the Zhuwen Smooth Q2. And this is like small mode for the DJI gimbal. Okay, so like it's folded up, right? It folds, that's cool, it's super cool. And it is small for a phone gimbal. But Yuen took it a step further and just made it this. Just look at this. Now, I will tell you DJI has a leg up because once you fold it up and get it in storage mode, it doesn't move around or do anything like that. Once you take the Smooth Q and you put it into like storage mode, it still spins, which is cool when you're sitting here doing this, but you know, who wants something spinning around in their pocket? Now the gimbal does actually kind of lock just like that, but it doesn't take too much. All you gotta do is kind of flip it out uh, to get it to start moving again. But when it's in storage mode, all you gotta do is just kind of fold it up and you can feel that that little clickiness happen and then it just kind of locks itself in place. But the, uh, the pan axis is still loose. So that's one of the caveats about this thing that uh, is not one of my favorite, but everything else about it seems pretty slick. Let me move this thing out of the way because this video is not about that. It's all about the Smooth Q2. And yes, it is smooth. Look at this. So it's an all metal body. And I, man, when I tell you it feels like quality, it feels like quality. The only plastic I'm feeling on here is uh, the buttons and the joystick and the phone. Is this, this is metal. Like it's all metal, man. It's like 99% metal, which makes it feel really good in the hand. Yes, it does have some weight to it, but it's nothing that's gonna like bog you down or get you kicked out of the airport or anything like that. But that's a small sacrifice for the level of quality you get in here. So let's just start at the bottom. You got your uh, quarter inch input right there. So you can put this bad boy on a tripod. This did not come with its own tripod. And in a lot of ways, you don't need one. If you just wanna set it down real quick, even with the phone attached to it, it will sit up on a flat level surface. But if you need to do some heavy duty stuff and it's not on an even surface, yes, you might wanna get yourself uh, a mini tripod or something like that. But I wanna open it up because I want you to see this gigantic battery right here. This is a removable 4,500 milliamp battery that you can just take out and charge in a power pack if you need to, or you can just leave it in here and charge it up by itself. Now, I'm not gonna go into a bunch of specs, but I will tell you that you will get about 17 hours worth of playing time out of this uh, gimbal right here with that battery in particular. Now it's time to show you some of the coolness that this thing brings to the table. When it's time to balance this thing, it's actually fairly easy. All you gotta do is put it in the clamp that comes with it, and then you basically just kinda turn the phone face down and you get it as level as you can. So my phone is kinda, kinda top heavy. Then I'll scoot it back a little bit, then bring it down just a little bit and it's fairly level. It doesn't have to be perfect because this thing has some super strong like Herculean motors. To power it on, all you gotta do is hold the power button for about three to five seconds. It starts to flashing right there and then it goes into gimbal mode. The motors are active. If you do wanna power down the motors and put it in standby mode or something like that, all you gotta do is hold down this joystick right here for about two to three seconds and then it just kinda goes limp, it's like such but we want power because I'm ready to play. Here we go. You have several modes in this thing, but some of them are clearly labeled. You got pan follow, lock, follow, and POV. And then when this POV light starts flashing, that means it's in vortex mode. So I'll just go ahead and cycle through those right now. In order to get to the different modes, all you have to do is press down the joystick button once, and it goes to the next mode. And I'll just cycle through them as we go. And the fifth mode is vortex mode. And in order to go backwards, all you gotta do is double click and it'll go back to the previous mode in case you don't wanna toggle all the way through all of them. Now there's two other modes that you may never know about unless you start watching a ton of YouTube videos, kinda like I did. First, there's selfie mode. So right now my rear facing camera is facing you. So I'm recording like you like the camera, right? But what if you wanted to use your good camera, like the one on the back here? All you gotta do is triple tap the power button and it comes back and it faces the rear facing camera at you and you're using your good camera with 
the best stability you can get from a mobile phone, man. This thing, it's kind of creepy the way gimbals just kind of balance and stare at you the whole time. Let me get this out of my face. And then another mode may or may not apply to your phone. I have a super duper wide angle camera on this phone. So I can just capture like almost 180 degrees with this camera. But with that being said, you're gonna get this little elbow in your shot. And all you gotta do is triple click the record button, one, two, three, and it kind of tilts it back and kicks that motor down. That way you don't have it in your shot. Genius! Now here's a bonus mode. Let's say you're one of those weirdos who like to record in portrait. Well, they thought of that too. All you gotta do is manually spin it and it's ready to film you just like this. And you just hold it and record in portrait, you freak. But with all these cool modes and features that it has, let me tell you about my favorite feature. It's not that it has all these modes. It's not that I can be a freak of nature and record myself in portrait. You know what my favorite thing about this gimbal is? If I'm taking a break from filming or I need to catch a phone call or manipulate my phone somehow, all I gotta do is turn this thing this way and it kind of disables the motors. It goes into standby mode immediately. And then I turn it around on the back. I flip this little red switch to unlock and then all I gotta do is just kind of tug on it and pull my phone off and now I can talk on my phone without the gimbal in my hand and I can text and do everything I want to do and when it's showtime again all I gotta do is put it on there again and lock that little red switch in place pull it back out and I'm set to go again it's already on it's off of standby mode this is so sweet okay 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 I get excited about the smallest things let's take this thing outside get a little bit of footage as you can see right now, this footage is super smooth. You might get a little bit of white axis movement, but that's because it's such a light device. Uh, but other than that, man, it does a fantastic job. These motors are super strong because this phone isn't even light. I want to take you back to the selfie mode. If I triple tap three times, one, two, three, it spins around and it goes into selfie mode using the same camera. Is that not slick or what? Uh, because this camera quality is much better than the uh, front facing camera. And that way you get all the glory of my handsome face here. I mean, just look at it. Now this footage that you're looking at right now is super smooth. And that's just because I'm walking and I'm actually walking at a fairly quick pace pace but let me pick up the pace a little bit that way you can see what the footage is like when you're running maybe you're chasing after your kids or something trying to record some family moments god i'm out of breath let me put it in selfie mode so now i'm running and you can see that i'm running and i'm breathing heavy because i got on jeans and these jeans are not made for running all right that's enough of that i'm tired of running and i'm done shooting this video you've seen all the cool stuff it can do you've seen how smooth and stable it is and you look I think this day and age, everybody who's taking video on a mobile phone should definitely have a gimbal, man. And the Smooth Q2 definitely gets the job done. I know when you take your footage on your phone, your footage is all shaky because your hands are doing like this and you're barely paying attention. Then you go back and watch it. And it's like, oh, man, I got to delete this because you can't even see what it is. Get yourself a Smooth Q2, man. Simple as that. Look, I ain't no expert on this kind of stuff, but I do know Smooth when I see it. If y'all had a good time hanging out, man. Make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comment section and I'll see y'all at the next one. Hey, where are you going? No, 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 no. Sit back down. We got to talk about this. You didn't have a good time? All right, then. Hit the subscribe button. There you go. Reach down there. There you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You got to come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right. I knew you would. All right, man. I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?